and welcome back welcome back guys and we are ready to pull a smaller bearing off and on this one we can actually get underneath the bearing so uh, it's not going to be a problem um, like like we had with the, uh, the opposite side we have to remove this because there is a a collar and a shim that goes in there and whenever we put the transmission together i'll show you what this shim does it acts as a little bit of a splash shield but also um, it keeps the uh, the shaft from from going down in too far I'll show you that in the other video and then we're going to put this collar on so let's just press this off and already got this set up we have our spacer in here the biggest tip I could tell you besides safety glasses would be to uh, make sure the shaft is centered directly underneath um, the, the press so you're not pressing at an angle or anything like that and we're going to hold on to it underneath and just it should it might pop a little bit there it goes and then it'll just come right off Right there. Okay. All right. Now, next step. Let's switch our camera around here. And swing it over. There we go. <laughs> okay. This is such a low budget operation. Okay. So let me grab a rag real quick. And uh, should have should have had a shop towel ready. All right. We're back. Okay, should have had a shop towel ready. Just want to clean that out. There we go. And there's a little bit of rust there. We'll hit that with a wire wheel. That's not going to hurt anything for right now. So, next step is shim and collar. And uh, we just use a longer piece of tubing to pound that on. Simple. Out, but and that's how that's done thanks for watching see you next time